this video we're going to unbox Araman Arch Sorcerer of Zinch. Right guys, so as promised, here we go, Araman Arch Sorcerer of Zinch. So what I've done, took it out of the box, the stuff's just over there, uh, just to be a bit quicker. And so you don't hear all this blah, 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 trying to get it all out um but yeah let's have a look at the box look at that nice artwork there that is pretty cool so yeah he's a araman arch sorcerer of zinch um nice little graphics there on the top there he's got like a little side view of him another view of him on that side but on the back here lord of lethal transmutations which is pretty good sorry about the glare that's coming off the uh the box here but it is a shiny shiny box um he's got like a arcane tomb there so a little book um what else has he got over here black staff of araman nice little weapon and a twisted warp flame so i'm sure when that's his arm that's turned into something uh an inferno bolt pistol because where would you be without one at the bottom there, it only gives you a um, little guide of how to do the cloak and a green flame. But there's no green flame on the thing. I know this thing here, but that's not a flame, is it? Looks like a tentacle, but there we go. Uh, so colours that you need for the cloaks are Screamer Pink, Null and Oil and Pink Horror. And then uh, for the green flame thing, this. Uh, Celestial Grey, Colia Green Shades. And moot green. Mm. Yeah, so there's that. So quite a nice, I like how Games Workshop are now putting like the characters in a box, a little tiny box, instead of a blister pack. Uh, pretty cool. So there is that. So this cost me £21 um, from my local independent game store, Game and Figures. Um, from Games Workshop, it is £25. Um, so it is better shop about if you want to save a couple of pennies you know so there is that there's the box i'll leave that there can you see that there we go so let's look at the frames themselves so is the first frame and what i've noticed straight away is there's quite a few little tiny parts so if i flip them over anyway so that's the cloak nice big cloak and for some reason down here um like gives you an option to put the the bit of cloak on there why didn't they just model that onto it that's a bit strange <laughs> um yeah so there you go there's the cloak let's see if i can get a bit closer there we go um not much detail on there would have been nice if it had like a little symbol or something on the back um this is that uh black staff i'll turn that over there we go some nice horns and a little bag there in his hand. He's got a nice little, um, reminds me of the old uh, Chaos Space Marines where they used to have little, like, I don't even know what you'd call it, little daggers, I suppose. It's little spikes on everything, pretty much. Um, what's on that there? Oops, sorry. I don't even know what that is. It looks like a skull of some sort, like a bird skull. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at his head. Very nice. He's got this uh, bit of cloth draping down. I've got a funny feeling that might snap at some point, but not to worry. Um, his body. He's got jewels pretty much everywhere. And again, a little bird skull little bottle of something there uh what is this on the bottom a feather of some sort that'll be off the bird that he's killed or whatever uh another bit of tassel so i'm assuming that goes on the other side I could, yeah it does goes on the other side of his head it'll pop in down there somewhere uh his shoulder pads well shoulder pad sorry because it comes in two pieces for some reason is half of a, a ram's head detail. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So there's half a ram's head and there's another half a ram's head. And then that's this is the bottom of the flying disc. Now, we say that this is the bottom side, so you don't really see this. There's quite a lot of detail in it, which is 
nice, but for me, unnecessary. Um, so yeah, so again, it's got the bird kind of motif going on the beaks, popping out and the eyes there, pretty nice. So there's sprue number one. I'll pop that there. Sprue number two. So this is flying disc. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this is definitely a miniature that's going to have to be painted sub-assemblies for me. Um, there's these is Inferno pistol. Just a bog standard. Still got the nice little embellishment on there. And there's that book. Um, Again, nice little detail on there. This figure here, if it's going to focus, there we go. It's like the flames that can come from underneath. So if we have a look on the box, it's it's basically these bits here that come from underneath the this bit. There's his uh, robe, or front of his robe, sorry. And there's the back of it. Uh, what else have we got? We have, let me just flip this round. His hand. Wonder why there's like a hand. That's a bit weird. If he's got like a weird arm anyway. Hmm. That is interesting. I might have to have a look about that. Uh, that's his bit. It's just part of his arm, I'm assuming. There's his weird... Oh, that, I see why now. Also, he actually does have a, a hand and an arm that is just literally coming out. I thought, sorry, yeah, I thought this was like just his arm and he didn't really have one, if you know what I mean. All right, that's pretty cool. Very cool. So, yes, yeah, so let's have a look at this flying disc anyway. Um, yeah, nice. Obviously, he's got the Egyptian theme going on there with a little dung beetle. I'll call it, or Scarab, or whatever you call them. It's pretty nice. I like the Egyptian uh, stuff. I think what first got me into uh, Egyptian stuff was seeing Stargate. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Right, there's his hood. Very, very big hood. Almost Harlequin-esque, I think that. Well, that's pretty nice. So, yeah. There's a little overview. Unboxing comes on a. I think that's that's not thirty two, is it? No, that's 40, 40 mil base. And then let's have a look at the instructions. See what we can uh, see. So loads of different parts. Um, I can see it's going to be a pain in the ass to build, but. So for me as well, Thousand Sons are a pretty boy army. They look nice, you know. Um, so the models are going to be looking nice. So Araman is 230 points. Mm, Semi-decent, I suppose. Uh, War gear, he has Inferno Boat Pistol, uh, Frag and Crack Grenades, and Aura of Dark Glory. <sighs> Sounds nice. Special rules are he's a champion of chaos, he's fearless, independent character. Mark is inch, he's a psyker, master level four, and he's a veteran of the long war. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Black Staff of Araman is, is that strength two plus AV4, melee weapon, force weapon. Um, yeah, so he's a pretty cool character to have in your army. Alright guys, that's my little unboxing slash review kind of thing. All in all, it looks like a great model to build. Might be a little bit of a bugger to paint, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright guys, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell button. Alright guys, ta -ra.